welcome to the enlightening world of the mental health in black and white channel. On this channel, we take intricate mental health concepts and distill them into bite-sized, comprehensible pieces. Today's focus is cognitive behavior therapy. Let's embark on this journey of understanding together. CBT is an abbreviation I'll use for convenience, but this is not your typical therapy. It's unique in its short-term nature and its ability to be quantitatively tracked for its effectiveness. Unlike many other therapeutic approaches, this can feel abstract or circular. CBT operates on a more direct A plus B equals C model. The cornerstone of CBT lies in a fundamental belief. It's not what happens to us in life, but rather how we perceive and think about those events that profoundly impact our mental health. Instead of fixating on external occurrences, CBT digs deep into our thought processes and the beliefs we hold about ourselves and our experiences. To grasp this concept, consider an example. Suppose your father left your family when you were young, never to return. In CBT, the focus isn't solely on the event itself, but on the thoughts it generates, such as, I'm not worthy, he didn't care about me, or he didn't value our family. These automatic thoughts can shape your emotional landscape. CBT emphasizes pinpointing and challenging these automatic thoughts. Here's where thought tracking comes into play. It involves documenting your automatic thoughts, much like noting a stream of consciousness. By doing this, you become aware of thoughts that often go unnoticed. These thoughts can fuel emotions like anger, sadness, anxiety, or depression. CBT also delves into identifying underlying assumptions. Through downward arrow questioning, Therapists help clients explore the cascading beliefs triggered by automatic thoughts. It's akin to peeling away layers to uncover core beliefs like, I'm worthless or I'll never be good enough. The tools within CBT are vast, but let's highlight a few key ones. Number one, thought stopping. This technique interrupts automatic thoughts. You might verbally shout, stop or visualize an impassable stop sign when negative thoughts arrive. The goal is to prevent the thoughts from spiraling further. Number two, cognitive distortions. CBT addresses cognitive distortions like catastrophizing or black and white thinking, which can lead to negative thought patterns. It helps individuals challenge and reframe these distortions into healthier thought patterns. Number three, role playing. Some CBT exercises involve role playing scenarios to help individuals verbalize their thoughts and practice shifting them toward more positive directions. CBT isn't a one size fits all approach. The therapy typically spans eight to 10 sessions but can be tailored to individual needs. It's commonly used in the United Kingdom and parts of Europe, often as a starting point for addressing mental health concerns. The power of CBT lies in its ability to bring awareness to automatic thoughts, transform negative thought patterns, and ultimately change behavior and self-belief. By understanding the thoughts that shape our reality, we can embark on a journey of mental health and personal growth. Feel free to explore more about CBT online or discuss it further with a therapist who specializes in this approach. It's a valuable tool in the quest for better mental health, offering practical and tangible ways to reshape your thought landscape. Remember, your thoughts are powerful, and with CBT, you can harness that power to lead a healthier, happier life. Thank you for allowing us to join you today, and we hope that this has been helpful. Let's continue to work together for a healthier and happier version of you. We'll see you next time.